Hi everyone, um, welcome to Painters Printing Miller Edition. Thanks for joining us. Um, I'm Angela Saxon, this is Ann Carlette and Roy Steens. Um, <laughs> as the name of our program is called Painters Printing, we are all three painters that in the last few years have delved into the world of printmaking and are very excited to be sharing our studio um, with not only the residents of Miller Beach, which is part of Gary, Indiana, but also to all of you out on the World Wide Web. Um, Talk about yourself on <laughs> <laughs> It's all about oh, me now? Yes. Okay, please. spotlight on me. Yeah, we yeah. want to know. Okay, Here, so, um, here's the mic. Okay, thank you. Um, hi, I'm Angela. Um, I grew up in uh, Miller Beach. Um, if you don't know it, it's a beautiful little community right on the shores of Lake Michigan. Um, I've been a uh, a painter for all of my life. Um, I'm primarily a landscape painter. And in the last few years, got together with these two Leos. I'm a Leo too. These three Leos. And we've um, been making monotypes, um, exploring ways of making marks. And um, for me, that's really impacted how I work as a painter. Okay, you're sure. <laughs> <laughs> Really? It was yes. bad? No, no, it was great. It's just like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's the Ready talking brain. No? Okay. I'm yeah. Royce Deans. I grew Sorry. up in the Chicago area and currently live in Traverse City, Michigan. Oh, me too. You live there. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> I don't. Uh, but I paint mostly in landscapes and on figurative work. And I just found it fascinating to try and mix those two up and see what I can learn from one and from the other that way. But mono printing has been a really exciting place for me to experiment and to find some much. new ways of working. <laughs> you just oh, barely my made turn it at last. <laughs> No, I'm Ann Corlett, grew up in the Chicago area. I live in Saugatuck, so west coast of Michigan. And I'm also a landscape painter, and this really isn't a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, we, we actually, we've known each other a very long time, all of us, and um, Angela and I from back when we lived in Pilsen in Chicago. Okay. Oh, well, we've been in shows together and working together uh, at least mm -hmm. 10 years, if not more. And so a couple of years ago, we started um, printmaking together and uh covid has kind of slowed us down we did some zoom printmaking sessions yeah, and then we had planned on doing this and then you two really figured out how to make it covid compliant all i do is show up <laughs> which is why this is a component of it now i mean we intended this to be <clears throat> a very interactive residency um so we're basically here in the miller beach arts and creative district 5,000 square foot gallery. It's just us in this giant gallery. Um, making for, a mess. Making a mess for 10 days. Absolutely. In 2018, the three of us had a yeah. here. It was called Reconnect. Um, it was, we filled this 5,000 square foot gallery with all of our landscape paintings. And it, the theme was Reconnect because we're all from this regional area and right. you know, reestablishing right. our roots, I guess. Oh. Yeah, and That's connection to nature, I would say. Cool. Mm -hmm. The lake. So as we kind of mentioned at the beginning of this, that we had intended this as, you know, this very interactive program. And we really had to rethink um, for the COVID pandemic how to make this work. And the Miller Beach Arts and Creative District has been phenomenal working with us. Um, there's a GoFundMe site that has just been tremendously successful. We really want to thank the Miller Beach Arts and Creative District um, for helping us make all that work. Um, our class program sponsor is Glitter Pay Studios, which is right here in um, Miller. And there's uh, many individuals that have um, given money to help this program be a reality. So thank you. And if you'd like to know more about that, you can go to our website, paintersprinting.com. Okay, so now, Let's make a monotype. Let's make a monotype. Okay. What is a monotype? It is a print made by applying ink or paint to a smooth surface that we call a plate. That image that we put on the plate is transferred onto a piece of paper via pressure. We can run it through a printing press or we can do it by hand with something as simple as a wooden spoon. Now Anna's going to show us how it's done. Anne? 
My new microphone is the palette knife. Nice. Okay, here's a plate. This one is plexiglass. Often we'll put a drawing underneath, but we're not gonna do that today. Here are the inks. The inks are Akua, water-based. They're easy to clean. I've already mixed colors. So let's see how this works. So we use a brayer. We have all different um, sizes of brayers. And then we can run it across the plate. Now let's get a different color for kicks and giggles. I've got all my um, landscape colors, you know, because that's what we're doing here in Miller Beach. There are other ways to apply the paint besides brayers. Let's do one more color first. We'll get this nice blue. What a beautiful array of colors you have there. Thank you. We do love the colors of this landscape. Like those yeah. three you pulled out, you've got sand and the two colors of the water. Exactly right. It's beautiful. Now you can layer one over the other like that. You can also manipulate with the brayer. Now that all that ink is on there, let's see how we can play and have fun with it. We can use tarlatan. Which is like a really stiff cheesecloth, right? Like something that right, right, and you can take familiar, a, but also not like a, a kind gentle, of, oh, it scratches. a gentle wipe, or you can really, um, you can just really manipulate the ink with it. So it's like you're painting with that piece of fabric. Well, the interesting part is when you wipe off the ink, the blank part of the plate is going to be the white of the paper. Right, so now I'm gonna draw into this color, the Q-tip, that's actually one of my favorite. Okay. Or you can use a makeup brush, since we wear so much makeup. It's got a little more control. A toothpick will give you really good control. Okay, even something like a scrubby, like a, you know, dish scrubby, that's got some really interesting marks. And then see how the paint goes um, into sort of the your, other right, color. You're blending colors with that. Also, we can use a brush. So. I can do what I want with the paintbrush, right? It's, it's a lot like paint. The interesting thing about a print is it's going to be in reverse. Okay, kids, what have I forgotten to show them? Anything? I think that's it. Let's, make, let's, let's, make, let's pull let's, that print. With us. We have several ways to make prints here at the Miller Beach Arts and Creative District. Okay, this is a, it's actually called a baby press. Royce has calibrated, calibrated it, meaning. Uh, so the pressure's that. right. So we've got to take into account the thickness of the plate and the paper and the blotter paper, which is going on right now. Just to absorb any extra And then the water. felt, which is sort of just a cushion, because see, there's this, there's this, I don't know if it's stainless, but this finely milled roller. And so Anne's made a sandwich, and then she's gonna roll it right through, and it, the, the, the press is gonna put really even pressure across that plate and transfer the ink onto the paper. All right, let's go there around the other goes. side ba, ba, and ba. see what we've got. La, la, la. This the is our favorite part. The of the reveal. This is Christmas for us. You know, you never know what you're going to find. So she's peeling back the layers. And Whoa, there's that little happy thing. That's so beautiful. you can see the, the Q-tip mark, the pencil mark, or the toothpick marks are very fine. This is the big scrubby and the tarlatan is, and the paintbrush. And the and paintbrush did come out over the yellow, so that's interesting. And then there is some ink still left on the plate, so do you just wipe it off? What do you do with that? Well, you can. Uh, I mean, I would take this and clean this now, but you can also, if you rolled another print, it would be a ghost print. It's called a ghost print because there's a little bit of ink would go on your paper. You can also use what's there and, and apply more ink and print it again. Okay, let's see, uh, Angela, well, why don't you tell them about these other ways to put um, pressure 
on right. the paper to create a print. Sure. Well, so what Anne printed on is really an etching press, or, um, although we can do monotypes on, on that as well. But we also, the simplest version of this would be a wooden spoon, or I, I like to use these salad hands. So that same sandwich that Anne created, um, I would have had a plate and my paper and this on top, and then just by simply rubbing and applying pressure, we would transfer the ink to the paper. Then we can go one step up in sophistication, and that is a pin press. This is made by the same company that makes our inks, Akua. We would make that same sandwich of plate, paper, and blotter, and then we just roll the this press back and forth a few times to transfer it. So really, with monotypes, the possibilities are endless. Endless! All righty then. This, this residency for us is about experimentation. And we really wanted to have the time to just try things. With, with printmaking, especially with monotype printmaking, really the sky's the limit. I mean, you could use almost anything for a plate, so I used a big glass top table. And instead of using a small piece of plexiglass, I just inked the table and then used paper off of a roll. And I think this paper is 22 by 48, which you know, typically that maybe would be hard to put, do on a, on a regular press with a bed, but because I can just ink the table and then we have a small, let me show you we this. We didn't show them the print press. This, can we rotate here? Yeah. So we have this lovely press that's, um, called a pin press. It's it's uh, about eight pounds, and it, with a smooth surface, just roll. I could roll, you know, a print that was twenty five feet long if I define paper that big. Okay. So the last thing I think we wanted to share is just our schedule for the rest of the week. Pretty much every day at two, Tuesday is a um, a free online class, uh, learning to make oil pastel monotypes with a line transfer process, which with really is simple very cool. ingredients. Right, it's really, really simple, simple stuff. If you're in the Miller area, we have free material kits here you can pick up. Or really all you need is a Ziploc bag and some crayons. Oil pastels, right? Aren't those best? Right, oil pastels. Um, Wednesday, our, uh, <clears throat> our broadcast is gonna talk about how we find inspiration from the landscape. We are all plein air painters. Um, as part of our practice, and how when we go out into the landscape, what, what we choose to choose to record, and then how that makes its way into our prints. Okay. On Thursday, we're doing another class at two, and this is gonna be the same this queen sandwich bag, oil pastel uh, monotypes, but um, learning to transfer with a wooden spoon, something, again, most people have. And then on Friday, we're gonna do a final broadcast. How's it going? just kind of letting everybody know how our week has been. And, and we're still friends. And sharing yeah. work. So, <laughs> yeah, did I miss anything? It. No, no. Royce it. might sing if you uh, come back on Friday. So check out more at <laughs> paintersprinting.com yes. um, or you can also visit millerbeacharts.org. And, and see you next time. <laughs>